Hello and welcome. Today we're working on a cost of goods manufacturing statement. So we're going to prepare a statement to calculate the cost of our finished goods. Now this is a managerial accounting. We're working our way through all the principles of accounting in sequence. And so my name's Jeff from Finally Learn. And so let's get started on this problem. So this is the cost of goods manufactured information. So we have things like materials and working process and finished goods. We have things like materials, labor, and overhead. And so you'll want to see the previous videos on this series and in this playlist. Now, I did the same problem with the same numbers using T accounts on a previous video. So I'll link to that below. And so what happens is if you want to calculate the number, there's probably a quicker way of doing it. So this is showing how to do the statement. All right, so the Crimson Co. We have the cost of goods manufactured statement for the year ended December 31st. And I've kind of set this up a little bit just to save us a little time. And so what we want to do is calculate the direct materials. Now, what do we need at first? We need to know the beginning uh, materials. So what is our beginning materials here in this case? Well, our beginning materials, beginning raw materials it might be called, is 15,500. And to that, we're going to add any purchases of raw material. So we're going to add uh, purchases of materials. And sometimes these are called raw materials. You'll see in my problem, it's called raw materials. But you can just call them materials here. And so then we're going to take these two numbers and add and get the uh, available materials. These are available for us, and so we're going to take the 15,500 plus the 66,000, and so we have a subtotal here for available materials. I'm going to draw a line underneath it so we know, hey, that's a subtotal. From the available materials, we're going to subtract out the ending materials. So our ending materials, uh, that's given also. Our ending raw materials is 10,600. And so what is our materials used, or sometimes we might call this uh, direct materials used. So I'm just gonna abbreviate some things here. So we'll have the 81,500 minus the 10,600, and we have direct materials used. We're gonna use that number. Now, the next one is direct labor used. So, direct labor used is given. Direct labor used is 38,000. And the next one is factory overhead. So, remember we have materials and labor and factory overhead. So, we need to know what is our factory overhead used. And this one is called either overhead or factory overhead or manufacturing overhead. Here it is, factory overhead is 80,000. So what is our total manufacturing cost? Our total manufacturing cost is 70,900 plus the 38,000 plus the 80,000. I'm gonna put another underline here so we know, hey, this is a subtotal direct, material, direct materials used and then direct labor and overhead. And now we need another underline to show how much our total manufacturing cost. Now, we're not quite there to get cost of goods manufactured. We need to do a couple of more things. So we're gonna add the beginning work in process. Add beginning work in process. I'm gonna abbreviate it BWIP, add beginning work in process. And so that's given at the very top. So our beginning work in process is 29,000. And that gives us total manufacturing costs or total, um, let's call this total work in process. I'm going to take the 188 plus the 29, and that gives us 217,900. And we're going to subtract out less 
the ending working process, what we didn't finish, is what we've actually finished, right? So our ending working process is going to be, ending working process is going to be 44000 So what is our cost of goods manufactured? It's going to be 217 minus the 44, so it's 173900 Now, I told you we did this previously with T accounts, so let's check our work. Our work is 173900 We feel good about the... Final answer is our cost of goods manufactured is 173900 So this is how you do a cost of goods manufactured statement. You need to start with materials and labor and overhead and get our total manufacturing costs, add the beginning working process, subtract out the ending working process, and this is how much you've completed. So this is the cost of our finished goods. Hey, thanks for watching. Check out our other videos in this series. Please like, please subscribe if this is helpful for you. Uh, put comments and we can answer your questions. Sometimes that gives me good ideas for the next video.